which kind of leads me into my next question because do you remember when I messaged you when you won the 2017? I was like, where's your car? Why aren't you driving your car? Because you won a car in 2017, so yeah. what happened to that one? Um, I actually sold it. Okay. Yeah, I sold that car. So um, you like riding around on four wheels better than two? You know, <laughs> you missed the bike? <laughs> you don't no, miss no, the no, bike. no, 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 I, I will say, I mean, a car makes you addicted. Like, real quick. Like, Girl, real I can relate. Cause when I, I love my bike. I have two bikes. I love to bike. And since I got the car, I can count on one hand how many times I bike. And it's sad because I do love to bike, but man, that car is just, is the bomb. I can totally relate because when I moved to LA a little over 10 years ago, I came here with nothing and I moved from Boston, Massachusetts, which is a, a small city, but I got around everywhere on my bicycle. So. I've never been to LA. I moved to LA with nothing and I thought I could get around on my bicycle, which I did for like six months. But I live like way out there where the, everything is far away and it was miserable for six months. I was on the bicycle and it was brutal. So. Well, if you live far away from everything, you definitely need a car. I mean, yeah. I would say for the area, I live in Venice here. You can get You know, by. I live just down the street and gym, I can walk here. But even I still, I still drive. grocery shopping, <laughs> laundry, all those things you take for granted when you do have a car, it's like nearly impossible to fit the amount of groceries you need to take home on a backpack, you know, it's, yeah. it's very difficult to, it, it, LA is not like your typical city where you can commute easily, it's very, very different, and I know I struggled with that until I moved, I shipped my motorcycle 3,000 miles across the country just so I could have a set of wheels, and even that wasn't easy, trying to do laundry and buy groceries on a motorcycle, and, I really appreciated my car when I bought it. Um, it. It's been a blessing just having it, even though LA is crazy with traffic, but I'm sure it's made your life so much easier too, just having that car to get from point A to point B safely. It's you, it's necessary in LA. You need a vehicle, for sure. I love the car, man. I love it. <laughs> and you look good in it too. Thank you. So what's your favorite season? pre-contest or do you like the off-season like we're in now? You know, I, I actually like both seasons. It, it's um, it's hard to choose because uh, I like uh, I like the prep, I, I like uh, I like the challenge. Um, it's like you really have to dig deep in yourself um, to just just keep pushing every day. You know, it's a, it's a 24 hour sport. It yeah. never stops. It doesn't stop when you go home from the gym. You know, it's true. you have your schedule, you know, you have your six, seven meals. Everything got to be weighed. Everything got to be eaten on time. You got to sleep on time. You got to eat on time. You got to do the gym on the time. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'm here like two or three times a day because then you maybe got two cardios a day. You, know, right. you got a training session and you got some posing. You know, so it's it's a lot of work. Um, it's challenging, but I love it. And they're both they're both very different seasons, but they're equally and, and I love brutal. also seeing the the progress. You know, when you're when you're pre contest, it's like you know, the closer you get, it's like sometimes it's daily changes. Like daily, you are like whoa, what happened here? I saw some new serrations, or you know, it's like uh, that artist and work that's like just chiseling and, and looking at you know what's coming out of it you know where I say you know off season is more well off season is more the building and the molding, molding where pre contest is more like you know getting that layer of fat off and like seeing what you actually worked on in the off season and, and off season is it's not chill season for me I actually have three seasons I have chill season I have off season I have pre-contest okay and chill season is like when I'm done with the show I need a couple of months to chill. so I, I don't if I don't want to go to the gym I don't go to the gym I need to have that choice that I say you know what I don't want to train today wake up the next day I don't want to train today and I do that for a couple of months I go when I feel like it because when I'm when I'm in off season or I'm in um, pre-contest is not a choice because when I'm off season, I really need to push. It's 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 a, it's a work season. I gotta make some improvements. Right. I still gotta eat by six six seven meals a day. I still gotta train hard. Um, you know, there's not as much cardio, but then I train heavier 
here and, and because I can't trade that heavy when I'm in a deficit of calories but now I trade balls and balls as heavy as I can sometimes I'm so tired I have to go home and sleep afterwards I feel you, you sister know? I know I, I love the off season because I, I really enjoy building muscle and training hard and heavy and, and putting on the weight I've embraced that which I think a lot of women struggle with but I love the off season, but it, I think it's it's harder because you gotta eat so much damn food. Yes, that's, it's not easy putting down. That's what people don't think about it. Like, sometimes I'm just not hungry, like not hungry. Get, you know? Getting leaner is definitely. And easier. I think about the diet. You know, when I sit there and I'm like, I don't want to eat my food. I think about, you know what? In a couple of months, you gotta be hungry. Girl. I know. I know. You gotta eat it. <laughs> They're equally opposite, um, but equally brutal. It doesn't matter which season you're in, but I do enjoy both as well. Yeah, they have each their chart.